Mr. Pierce. When it comes to rules and regulations, one of the things we had at least a couple of three years in the past was if somebody had come in from the outside as not a member, and if the vote the committee voted to allow them to speak, it was perfectly fine. Um, I have no problem with that. I, I, um, I, I didn't. Did we have an instance of that last year that we not, used? Not that I can remember, and I don't think it happened it again was before. Two it was, or three it's, years it's, ago. it's been a while back. When, okay. It was before I, when I was on the budget committee previously. Okay. Yeah, I'd be more uh, than happy to entertain because that. Because every once in a while we might have somebody that we want to talk to, and if the committee is allowed to vote on it, to, to let them vote, I think that's fine as far as I'm concerned, if everybody else is fine with that. I'll be okay with that. So I agree, but, but I would qualify that as saying that it's a majority committee decision, is that my understanding? That's yes. what I yes. understood, yeah. Even, even a request for appointment would be the same thing? Uh, a majority decision to have somebody come in? As if someone, if to, I someone think, has to yeah, make I an I think if the majority of the board wants somebody to come in and, and, and talk No, I'm asking is that the mechanism by which an appointment could, would be requested? That it would then be submitted to the committee to, uh, as a whole to be okay. voted on. Yes, I do see your point. That's that's what I would understand it to be. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But you got also the thing of it is there's once in a while somebody will want to know if they can make public comment at the budget hearing. Well, there is no such vehicle. But if he, they do come in with something they might want to bring to our attention, and if we vote to allow them to speak, that was the that's the question. Yeah. And I I, I already agree with you, Mike. Dave. Okay. Yeah, I, I would agree. I'm being redundant for your benefit, beforehand. excessively. And I and I honestly <laughs> think if there is a member of the public that has a feels the need to come address the budget committee, I would encourage them to give me um, contact. Where we don't usually have public comments in our meetings scheduled, right. Right. I would be more than happy to entertain the public to come in here, and and um, I would just ask that it be a formalized request through me, so that way I can put it on the agenda, and um, and and make sure we have it all hard ducks in a row. But, yeah, I don't recall doing that last year, but I, I do, yeah. It I don't think it's before. been done for a long time. I yeah. can remember mm -hmm. several years ago there was some debate about somebody coming in and wanting to speak, and then there was somebody complaining on the budget committee that didn't like it, blah, blah, blah. And I thought it was smart to have input to the budget committee if the majority agreed. And it's a majority decision, okay. obviously. Uh, was there any other discussion on rules of conduct or guidance or any of the voting record or anything like that? Well, the Mr. simplest Press. way to handle it is just on your agenda, put public comment. If there's nobody here and nobody wants to speak, it's... No, you can't. Uh, uh, that's the way the Board of Selectmen works. We could do it. Yeah, we're we could do it, but where we don't have a you lot of public comment, I, yeah. I think just sending me an email, um, my email is readily available to anybody on the town website. If if they want if, if somebody wants to come in, I think they, they know how to get a hold of me, and I, I'd be more than happy to uh, make accommodations for that and bring that to the board's attention um, to, to give them adequate time to speak. Uh, 